Hey, I'm Charles Yang. And I'm Peter Dugan. And you are about to hear an original composition of ours called Loopy, kind of how I feel right now. But uh, <laughs> it's a piece that uh, originally started off as a solo violin piece where uh, I was just sitting on the couch and came up with this kind of plucking and playing technique. <laughs> And that's how the piece was uh, created, was just from this little technique and it just kind of branched from there. And then he branched so far that um, Mr. Peter Dugan over here wrote a full piano part to it. I got really jealous because <laughs> we would play concerts and when it came to that song in the set, I'd have to just sit there quietly while he <laughs> played by himself and I wanted to jam with him. So anyway, Charles let me write a piano part to go with it. And uh, I do a little reaching into the piano too, although I can't say I invented that technique, but I'm pretty sure uh, you invented this particular violin technique. No on a couch, else, who knows? No, no one else has done that. I haven't seen it, but uh, many people are on couches. You know. I hope you enjoy this performance. Yes.
walk away. Walk away from me. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been a ruin for many poor boys. And God. I know I'm one Mama Not to do what I have done. Spend your life in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun.
I, I think that from the very beginning for Charles and me, it was music playing together was playing music together was a source of joy for us from the very beginning. It started off our musical friendship started off jamming in a practice room, and uh, we didn't even know each other. Yeah, not not in preparation for a concert, just for fun. And um, the thing that was sort of wild was to watch that relationship and the sort of goofing off that that we saw it as in the practice room transform into something that was like, wow, we can actually do this on stage for an audience and it's okay. Um, so it, it grew organically out of, out of a friendship. Um, it, was never, it was never forced. So the, the fun that you see us having is... It's is, genuine. Is genuine. genuine. Yeah. We're, we're also good friends too, yeah. so you know, it helps. I've been playing, uh, well, I've been playing since I was three years old. So like five years ago. And uh, yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been, thanks, did you like that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, since three, my mom was a violinist, made me play. Um, didn't love it at first, but um, when I kind of figured out I could practice for myself rather than for my parents, that's when I got interested in, um, in all kinds of music. Like classic rock uh, was a big part of my life growing up, and I wanted to mend those two worlds, classical and, uh, everything that I wanted, that I loved, I wanted to do it, I wanted to do it all. How about you, Pete? I started at four and have older brothers who played music. Uh, my, my oldest brother is a professional musician, a composer, and a saxophonist, and, uh, or saxophonist, I've also heard recently. Saxophonist yeah. is the right term, yeah. is, that's the right pronunciation. Uh, but he, um, he was adamant from the time I was probably 10 years old that I had to be learning blues and jazz and, and all sorts of styles. Uh, so I learned from him and he would take me on gigs. He's almost 10 years older than me and he would take me on gigs when I was in, you know, 14, 15 years old. And I, I'd gig with him and his friends and that's how I learned to play other styles. Um, and I was always just a sponge for musical styles and genres. I think a lot of people come and hear us and um, don't expect a lot of things, especially like House of the Rising Sun, or yeah. just, a, they're, they, they're surprised. I think surprise is a big surprise. part of it. And when it comes to audience reaction, the thing that always excites me is that in the middle of a piece, the audience will hoot or holler or applaud. And um, that's something that most classical musicians don't get to experience that often because there's this feeling like a classical audience is meant to be very quiet until the piece is over. So it's really a thrill for us when we get that feedback, uh, especially House of the Rising Sun, we hit that big modulation. Yeah. And to have an audience roar when we do that is it makes you feel like a rock star, but the fact is that's what people would have done during Liszt's time or you know earlier days when classical music was performed, the audience would have been engaged in that way. Totally. Um, so, you know, it's, it's the way it should be. Before the pandemic, Peter and I used to play this, I guess, all over the place. And uh, it started off, uh, we used to kind of sprinkle in these arrangements uh, in our recitals, in our real recitals, <laughs> where we'd play, you know, sonatas and uh, works by other composers. And we would come up with something, just sprinkle it in, and they would get amazing reactions from the audience. So we decided to do it more and more, and pretty soon we had um, enough to fill a full program. Of course, we don't do all of this. Uh, we'd like to implement it within um, a full sonata sometimes and um, with classical pieces, just to bring in audiences from all over. You know, maybe they wouldn't have, uh, a classical audience wouldn't hear, um, they wouldn't hear about, I don't know, the animals or, um, <laughs> or even the Beatles, who knows? But Vice versa, you know, people that come to a club show of ours um, might get introduced to something like the Ravel Sonata. So um, it's a big uh, mission of ours to keep that kind of audience engaged. There are also two pieces on this program that are kind of special because they started off as original solo violin pieces that Charles composed for himself. And then he asked me to come on and write piano parts to go with it, uh, which is kind of an unusual and fun way to compose a duo piece. So, so those two are originals, and yeah. you know, that's something we started doing a little bit more recently. Well, you're just sick because in the, uh, uh, back when we played, I would, 
play all these solo pieces and you'd have to just sit there. I'd have to sit there. Yeah. It's very so, sad. Yeah. I mean, Peter came up with some amazing piano um, renditions of this piece and uh, of these pieces. And uh, yeah, time, this is the first release of time, I think. It is. Yeah. <laughs> 